welcome to a new video of your favorite band star. My name is Joost Appelboom and today we're here with Jana, the Global Product Manager of Pelican. And there's a really important question. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite personal top three Pelican, or maybe not Pelican, founder bands? Okay, but it is Pelican on this side. Obviously. <laughs> <It is. laughs> um, thank you for asking me that. So mm -hmm. and. Um, it was not that easy to decide for just three pens, um, but I tried to. So my most favorite pens, that were the first pens that came in my mind. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, it is a really classy thing, mm -hmm. so uh, a very classy color combination. The M405 with silver trimmings and the completely ruinized um, gold nib. And to be honest, it's the first F nib I'm riding with. So mm -hmm. I was riding with an M nib. Maybe I was not able to write with a smaller and finer nib, but no. now I do, and I'm really, I'm really a fan of it. And my biggest target is to have an e EF nib one day. <laughs> um, and what I really like is to combine the fountain pen with a certain ink color. Mm -hmm. So um, here I have decided to go for a blue. So because the whole pen talks yeah. blue, it has to be a blue ink. Definitely. Um, sometimes I really. Um, are aiming for color. Mm -hmm. So um, this is my second really favorite pen. Mm -hmm. um, maybe they are all number ones, but I had to of decide course. for for uh, for three pens. Um, to be honest, when when it was designed, first side it was woo gold and pink. Wow, mm -hmm. that's really brave. This color combination, um, and I wasn't sure whether it will work out. And uh, talking about internal secrets, because um, when we were presenting it internally, uh, I guess there were some doubts in the room whether okay. it would work out yeah. or not. Uh, but it happens right now, most often when you have some innovative uh, ideas. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes. Now they are crazy, uh, mm -hmm. inventing pink stripes, and that's yeah. really crazy. Um, but it worked out, and uh, I really love it. So that was my first onboard uh, fountain pen. Maybe it was the start of my collection. So you wanted a pink pen and you thought, let's design a pink pen and then... No, 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 it was, it was not my idea, to okay. be honest. It was an idea of a colleague and um, I was just seeing the samples and saying, hmm. I was one of those who saying, hmm. But uh, when it was finished, mm -hmm. I really loved it. But um, we, we said, at these times we said, maybe it's, uh, we wanted to call it Lady Collection. Okay. Um, but there were so many uh, people saying, hey, come on, you cannot just say it's a women's collection. Yeah. So that's why we just said it's the M600 in okay. pink. So no gender <laughs> at all. <laughs> so everybody who loves this color can go for the color. So And this was the first step to come up with new color combinations. So okay. followed up with the turquoise and the violet white. So the success story continues. And uh, yeah, the third one is really the Toledo. Mm -hmm. I really love this pen mm -hmm. because um, I know that's part of the assortment and it's very traditional and it's really breathing pelican because it has a pelican on the barrel. Mm -hmm. um, when I was, uh, yeah, when we had to decide for a new goldsmith um, who had to work the, the pelican birds and the engravings, mm -hmm. um, I saw for the first time how much work it is just to work on one barrel. It's not like just putting in uh, some small ingredients and that's the final pen. It's a lot of um, yeah, hand work. Mm -hmm. It's really a kind of, of art, so to say. Um, and that's why I really like it, because every pelican is different. Every mm -hmm. pelican bird is different. And that's why it's definitely one of my favorite pens out of the assortment. Again, the small version, because uh, I have smaller hands, so oh. I like those smaller pens. Yeah. Sounds logical. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much for your top three. Yeah. You're so welcome. It was a pleasure. Yeah.